Hi, it's Friday evening here uh, in London, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. Uh, I've decided to do a, a live stream here, talk about a, a problem we've had in the UK with the uh, Visa cards and Visa and MasterCard, of course, uh, dominate uh, uh, payments, electronic payments. And uh, it just goes to show uh, how uh, we be at the mercy of uh, very few companies if uh, we go cashless completely and uh, if they have problems. Cryptos, of course, blockchain might solve that. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, so, hi everyone. Hi, Jay. Uh, EOD. Uh, uh, do you mean EOS? <laughs> uh, Neil Reynolds, Visa, yeah, crypto EOS was the worst investment I've made, really. Um, well, I think it would be the best I've made, uh, but uh, it depends where you bought it, uh, uh, Jay. Um, I, I've been uh, dollar cost averaging uh, since uh, last September. I've bought it as low as two, as high as 18. So uh, I'm not uh, concerned. I think it's a great investment, personally. But uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, hi, Lulu0462. So I'll just read here. Uh, and uh, I'd like to thank one of my uh, viewers. She sent me a message about this because I hadn't heard about it. Uh, today I went to pick up uh, my daughter from university in Canterbury. I actually used, I went for lunch with her and her boyfriend. I used my debit card to pay for lunch. And then I uh, put some uh, diesel in the car. I used my NatWest Visa debit card. And it worked. But uh just saw this uh, an hour ago. Maybe it was afterwards. Maybe I was lucky uh, to use it before. It says, this is from the sun.co.uk. Card chaos. Visa down as network crashes in UK and across Europe, sparking payment chaos. So it's not only in the UK. It's in the whole of Europe. The card network operates accounts for a number of high street banks, and millions of millions of businesses across the UK. Um, so this is worse than uh, actually I thought. I thought it was only in the UK, but it's also in continental Europe. Um, El Tomo S, they will not allow crypto. It's going to be a fierce battle. Uh, I agree. Uh, the uh, only thing is that, uh, as Dan Larimer of EOS says, if you... Uh, develop a system that is so much better, so much safer, so much more efficient. Um, it's difficult to stop people from moving from the government-run uh, uh, system. And uh, I've also been in contact with a few other people who are involved in cryptos and EOS and other uh, ventures. And uh, there's a lot of uh, things happening with crypto and gold. Uh, so I think that could be the next thing when cryptos become safer and uh, we can trust uh, the system. Um, there, I think they will complement each other, precious metals and crypto, and hopefully we'll be able to get rid of uh, government money. Um, DP Murray, my visit debit card works fine. I think it's just credit cards or credit cards. Yeah, I never use, I barely ever use a credit card. The last time I used it was because I got a, a letter from the credit card company and they said, uh, if you don't use your credit card in the next three months, we're going to cancel it because <laughs> I hadn't used it in years. So I, I, I bought something with it and paid it off right away. Uh, I always use a debit card. Hi, Kay Robertson. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Luke Hammond, I, I, I just think cryptos are basically fiat 2.0. Even QE works. Uh, they just call it uh, forking. Uh, well, the, the difference between fiat and cryptos, because the fiat means uh, to, to make, uh, to let it, you know, it's like passed by fiat, by law. So it's not, it's forced upon us by governments. Cryptocurrencies is not forced on us, uh, but it's the, a market uh, issued by people. So actually, I don't think cryptos are fiat. Uh, only government money has to be fiat because if they didn't make it fiat 
or and by fear I mean by law, uh, people wouldn't use it. You have you're forced to use it through legal tender laws. El Tomo S. They have to compress the price of gold and Bitcoin now through future contracts. Uh, with all the falling currencies in emerging markets, they are putting uh, so much pressure on precious metals and Bitcoin. Yeah, I can I can tell you know um, just because I follow follow precious metals for uh, since 2002. I used to follow them really closely because I was on the dealing desk in the city and I could you know follow it for 10 hours a day or so. I still follow it a lot. And I've noticed recently that, you know, this 1300, they're just keeping it down uh, here. It's very obvious. Uh, where are we now? We're at 1295. So it's down about three and a half today. Silver is unchanged. So it's almost like they're using both of them, uh, you know, to control uh, the market. If gold's too strong, you know, they, they'll bash silver. Oh, when, uh, you know, when silver tries to go up, they'll bash gold. It's uh, it's the same old game. Um, I can't wait for one dollar Satoshi. Uh, Amy Bazera, can you talk about aliens? Um, not really. You mean e <laughs> this is not uh, what I talk about here. Uh, on this channel. I think you're in the wrong place, Am Amy. Luke Hammond, Law, we have a weekly inside doji on the gold ch chart. Uh, aliens in a cashless society, yeah. So, yeah, uh, this story is quite interesting. Uh, let's have a look also, see what the uh, overall markets are doing. Well, the stock market has rebounded today. Uh, we had the uh, non-farm payroll numbers. They were a lot better than expected. The unemployment rate dropped again. But then I, I read that uh, the number of people out of the war workforce, I think, increased to almost 96 million, which doesn't make sense. All these people that are out of the workforce, they're not counted as unemployed. So uh, more... Um, more fiction, I would say, from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Let's see. Uh, Q translator limit. I think many purchase gold with cryptocurrency uh, when they made money from inv investing in cryptos. Yeah, the, 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 some people are doing that. I think the a lot of people in the crypto space have the same philosophy as people in the precious metal space. They like, they hate, you know. Uh, big government they like freedom they like uh, free markets and gold and silver and cryptos in my opinion uh are part of that rob b which is better gold bars coins or rounds is now a good time to buy gold uh are you in the uk rob uh, if you're in the uk i recommend coins uh, sovereigns i think uh it's always a good time to uh exchange fiat for gold if you mean buy if you have extra fiat money uh just dollar cost average hi rob uh so you're in the usa yeah you can buy i i mean bars gold bars uh, i don't recommend them unless you're a multi-millionaire or billionaire you can buy the uh 400 ounce bars if not i recommend uh coins you know gold coins uh, so what about the cashless society? Uh, I think it's they're pushing that because it's a control mechanism um, because it, it keeps uh, people's money in the banks. Uh, it, won't, it doesn't allow people to take the money out, even though you can take your money out and maybe put it into gold and silver. Um, so uh, I'm not sure if it's going to work out, if it's going to go completely cashless. But uh, that's one of the reasons, because when you have banking crisis, people want to take their cash out uh, and there's not enough cash in the banks because they leverage everything. So that's why the IMF uh, and the mainstream economists want a cashless society so that they uh, can just enslave everyone and keep the banks in charge. So anything that fights the banks, even if it's cryptos, 
I think is a good thing. I know a lot of people don't like cryptocurrencies. Um, yeah, uh, gold bars are not as easy. They are fairly convertible. I mean, there are small gold bars. Normally, gold bars are 20, 50, 100 grams, 250 grams, uh, or one ounce bars. But there are some small ones like 20 grams and 10 gram bars. Yeah, I've, I've also got like a 5 gram bar. I'll show it to you guys. Uh, let me get it here if you bear with me. But they're, you know, they're usually 20, 24 carat. So actually it's a 10, 10 gram one. Um, I'll show you. That's a, sorry, it's a 5 gram bar. So it's really tiny. There you go, 5 gram bar. Um, it's uh, and then I've got also uh, this little uh, maple leaf. It's one twentieth of an ounce. I got that. Uh, I redeemed some of my gold from Gold Money, and that's what I got. One twentieth of an ounce. That's quite small. So uh, let's see. Uh, how much is a slave worth today? Uh, I don't know. I haven't dealt in slaves. Don't plan to. You need to ask uh, Hillary Clinton and the uh, the elite, <laughs> not me. Luke Hammond, yeah, I remember being with HSBC, and they wanted me to sign a sign a billion documents, show my checkbook as proof, even though I've not used my checkbook since 1975. Just take out six thousand. Yeah, I, I've tried. You know, I. It's almost like you know. Some I have done that in the past. I've gone to the bank. Uh, and uh, I wanted to buy gold, like let's say 12, 15 years ago, a few years ago back. And I wanted to take the cash out of the bank, like 5,000 pounds. And it was at Citibank. I had an account at Citibank. And I said, uh, and they said, why do you want to take 5,000 pounds out? And I said, it's none of your business. It's my money. They didn't like me, but, uh, you know, I don't like, you know, if it's what's, it's none of their business, what I do with my money. But Nowadays, though, you, if you put money in the bank, it's an unsecured loan. So you actually, it's not your money. Uh, yeah, small gold, too much premium. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. I, mean, I think it, people need to uh, just uh, first uh, just do their homework, buy a coin or a bar and see what they prefer, you know. Uh, Lorraine Weymouth, many including me cannot do the tech part of cryptos i've had to use coinbase and store online on online wallets well i uh you know i've i've learned as well because 12 months ago i wasn't uh you know i didn't have a hard wallet uh and uh, i actually started uh investing in uh, eos right in the beginning and i i bought like a thousand tokens very cheaply and uh, I did it through Ether Delta, and uh, I lost it because I didn't know how to use it. So I was very disappointed at the time. I told myself, "Oh, to hell with cryptos; it's too complicated." But I did my homework, and uh, you know that's what you need to do. Gary, still hi, Mary. We have a lot of paper note changes here in the UK. Do you think that's a way of getting people's cash hoardings from them? Uh, it could be, it could be, um, but, uh, the other point that it could be is because, uh, the old notes are, were becoming maybe too expensive to produce. So, uh, they've come out with the new ones that are cheaper. That's what you need to think about as well. But yeah, uh, I guess the next big change could be, you know, the 20 pound note, the 50 pound note, they changed it a few years ago already. Do you think 100 gram bars are a good way to save in gold? Yeah, I do. 100 gram bars are, are fine. Um, but not if you're just going to buy all the fiat you have into 100 gram bar. I would probably buy, you know, maybe three uh, one ounce coins instead of just one. Because then if you wanted to liquidate some, you could just sell one, one gold coin. But if you want to liquidate... Uh, a third of a hundred gram bar, it's difficult.
no, Luke, Luke, I think the government is guaranteeing right now 75,000. I think it used to be 85, and then they dropped it to 75,000, but I'm not sure. But it's not more than 85,000 pounds in the bank. And I bet you if there's a, a flu, full-blown crisis, uh, I don't think they even guarantee the 85. Yeah, no, no VAT from uh, Germany. Uh, and you didn't have to declare that, I guess, because it's in the EU. Uh, Tony, what do you think of the Deutsche Bank story in the Fed? Well, yeah, I saw that uh, Deutsche Bank uh, has been in trouble for years. Uh, I've, I've covered it a, a year, 12, 18 months ago. I warned people and nothing has happened yet. But who knows? This could be it. Uh, of course, the Fed is, uh, I, I'm not, I didn't read the whole thing about the Fed, but I know that Deutsche Bank is a primary dealer for the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Primary dealer just means that, uh, you know, they deal uh, in, in uh, bonds for the, you know, for the, they're involved in the, um, in the auctions for the U.S. Treasury. Laura B. Hi. Uh, is money in the brokerage the same as money in the bank? Uh, no, uh, not really. It's just a one more layer of counterparty. Uh, usually a broker will have an account with a bank. So your money with the broker, they will deposit it with a bank. So you're going to have, uh, you know, the broker in front of you. If the broker, the bank goes bust, uh, you lose your money. And the broker loses his money. If the broker goes bust, you lose your money uh, as well. Unless uh, the bo broker puts it in an, uh, how can I say, unallocated account or allocated account, sorry. If, but if your funds are uh, with, let's say you have a, an account with the broker and the, the broker has an account with JP Morgan, and then the broker puts everyone's money together uh, in their own account with the bank. JP Morgan fails, your money's gone. So it's not the same. Because bats, hi, will Deutsche Bank be able to uh, get bailout packages if anything happens? Well, you know, the Germans always have a go at other countries for bailing out, and uh, they, so. Yeah, they're going to look stupid if they do bail them out. But uh, probably, yeah, the ECB will probably pump money into it. Uh, Richard McCorkendale, our banker overlords, will do everything in their power to patch up anything before they let a full bone crisis. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, that's true. You know, we like I've said, I've covered Deutsche Bank before, and I don't really feel even like making a video now about Deutsche Bank because... Uh, I've made it before. Uh, I warned people and nothing happened. But maybe that's what they want. They want us to be complacent. Maybe they are going to pull the plug. Maybe that 1988 uh, article or cover of the uh, Economist magazine about a new currency uh, in 2018, uh, maybe there's something to it. I don't know. Um, Kane Odam. Hi, Maneco64. What do you think about the coming? tokenization you mean cryptocurrencies uh, yeah i mean uh, a lot of things are happening uh you know as far as uh cryptocurrencies uh, everything you know it changes so much and you, people learn i think the most important thing is to keep looking into it learning about it and keeping an open mind there's a lot of opportunities Richard McCorkendale, in my opinion, the visa outage in the UK was a test, not a failure or accident. Probably. And the, the thing is, Richard, it also, I just read the headline, it happened all over Europe, not just in the UK. Deutsche Bank shares dropped $210 from 110 
in 2017. I think you mean 2007. I don't think they've been as high as 110 la last year. That, I'm sure of that. Eki Rash, Russia. What's your opinion of the new Italian government compromises with the, the devil? The banksters are too strong for the Italian populist parties. Yeah, I mean, uh, I just read something as well on Zero Hedge. Uh, from the uh, vampire squid Goldman Sachs saying that they're not too convinced that things are settled in Italy. Uh, so they've moved the uh, finance minister um, that they wanted to another post, but he'll still be involved. So I don't know. MM, no. Come on, guys. Show me an echo of love. Hit the like button below and be sure to share this video with all your friends. Give him a thumbs up. Thanks. <laughs> He's a good cheerleader, uh, MM, MM, no. Thank you. Um, Gary, still, if the banks go down, where does the money come from to bail out our savings? Sure, the insurance companies will go under. Well, Gary, that's why you shouldn't keep uh, any savings in the banks. Uh, you know, you, you need... By now, you should know that uh, it's all, uh, you know, it's not worth keeping it there. But um, it will be worth a lot less if the banks go down. You know, they're gonna, it's gonna, they're gonna write it off. You know, what hundred dollars will be worth? Maybe ten or five. That's all you get. Silver, silver country. Will they have managed fiat currency collapse so so the people beg for the governments to fix the system? That that's true. You know, it's like uh, that could be it. You know, they problems uh, uh, reaction solution. You know, they cause the problems and they come out and blame other people for it or other institutions, and they they're the ones who are supposed to give us the solution. Hopefully, you know, people don't buy that anymore. Yeah, Deutsche Bank is a SIFI, too big to fail. Uh, so is HSBC, and that's that's why um, the Department of Justice couldn't uh, prosecute it. Goldman Sachs is eagerly anticipating the next Muppet slaughter. Yeah, I mean they were, they've been involved in a lot of their pump and dumps in the last uh, eighty years, even in the nineteen twenties. Uh, they were heavily involved in pumping the stock market bubble uh, that crashed in 29. Remember the old days. Do you think it's okay to keep precious metals in a safety deposit box with a bank? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, definitely. No, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> uh, not even a Swiss bank. <clears throat> um, no. <laughs> and I don't think banks do that anymore. I think, uh, yeah, they're... No, I wouldn't do that. Definitely not. Luke Hammond, a vice president for Goldman, Goldman was just convicted of insider trading on Wednesday, I think. Yeah, I mean, uh, I was a vice president when I worked for Citibank or assistant vice president. So, yeah, it's not a really uh, – American companies have this uh, title of VP. It's not – I'm not saying the guy is a good guy, but he's not very senior. Uh, hi, Nathan uh, Jones. Uh, I didn't play golf today, no. Um, I went to uh, pick my daughter up at university in Canterbury, uh, drove over there and came back. So now I've been at home. I'm going to play uh, on Sunday. Shane Sturges. Hi, Mario. My problem with Holding crypto is back in the 70s. We used to have a three-day week without any power at all. What if history repeats itself as it often does? Uh, that's true, but cryptos, don't forget, if you have your uh, private key, um, the cryptos never disappear. Um, and you can still use it when the power com comes on. So, but... I, I agree with you. That's why I have a physical gold and silver, maybe some cash. Uh, 
SBSW, simple bet, simple win. Hi, my echo. What is your opinion about today's central motion into the government in Spain will be good for the economy? Uh, to be honest, I haven't looked very closely into it. I just saw that there was a corruption scandal and uh, Rajoy, Rajoy, or yeah, had to resign. Uh, I think it's a good thing that uh, you know they're punishing people for corruption. Uh, like that, uh, it'd be great if it could happen here in the UK. But it's funny, but in the UK, we never hear people uh, say corruption when when they talk about government. I don't know why. It's almost like the mainstream media is like too scared to talk about it. Uh, Adrian M. M. S. What is to stop the government requisi requisitioning all the gold that we should buy? that we should buy in the event of a collapse, history repeating itself. Of course, governments can do anything, but uh, uh, it doesn't mean you shouldn't protect yourself. Unfortunately, yeah, government, uh, the best thing they've done historically is uh, kill through wars and steal through taxation. Um, I don't think there's anything that government does that's uh, any good. Uh, Someone is asking, are you a history teacher? No, <laughs> I'm not a teacher at all. I just love reading, so and I like history. Wendy Bevan, sharing advanced knowledge of job numbers by president by president by tweet yesterday. Is that insider trading? Yeah, I would say so. Uh, did President Trump tweet about the numbers today? Uh, he probably knew the numbers already. I don't think that's a good thing to do that because those are uh, mar they affect the market. They they should be uh, those numbers should be uh, how can I say divulged uh, to the public all at the same time. And if you've got uh, prior knowledge, that's uh, yeah he should be investigated, but he probably won't. Best website. Why did Canada sell all of its gold? I don't know. <laughs> you need to ask uh, the Canadian government at the time um, or the central bank. Uh, maybe they think they don't need it. And they maybe they think the fact that uh, Canada is so rich in resources that they've got it under the ground and not, not concerned. But it's a stupid thing. I agree. Maybe they were forced also by the Americans or the, uh, you know, the powers that be. A lot of the times, you know, they say you need to sell some gold here because we need to cover this uh, lease. So you never know. Crepuscular night. Isn't taxation good, though? Like some of the best nations have the, the higher tax rates. Well, crepuscular night, if you think legalized theft is good, then that's fine with me. Uh, taxation is something, uh, it's, would you uh, take money from your neighbor, uh, steal from him to give it to another one? Uh, I don't think that's fair. So no, I don't know. I don't agree with taxation. I think it's immoral and it's wrong, even though we're told it's ine inevitable, like uh, death. Thanks, Tommy B. Uh, Hello uh, from Michelle. Hello. Do you know anything about deep sea mining? Uh, not deep, not deep sea. I've watched uh, like uh, some of the uh, mining programs on television, like uh, when they go uh, in Alaska uh, diving, but it's not that deep. But uh, no, I don't know any more about that. Deep sea uh, oil drilling, but... Uh, I would say it's really expensive to uh, mine deep sea gold, but uh, what was it called? Uh, it was uh, up in Alaska, the the divers, they and they use barges. Sometimes they use boats as well. It's not that deep though. But the thing is, if the prices of gold that of gold uh, goes up a lot, any kind of money could become uh, profitable. Luke Hammond, what do you think about? 
the new tariffs, Trump crazy or genius? I ploy to get the EU to bow to Iran policy. Yeah, I think that's what he's trying to do. Um, yeah. And the problem uh, with uh, the trade deficit is not because it, it's because we don't have like a a standard of value used for for money in the world. So. Yeah, either Germany needed its gold back, the Canadians chipped in, probably. We'll never know unless we, uh, you know, they're not going to divulge it. Typo, maybe England need, needed Canada's gold. Yeah, maybe. You know, the Queen's still uh, in charge there uh, in Canada. She's still the uh, monarch. Yeah, it's gold divers. Yeah, that's right that program. Shane Sir is Greg Manorino was furious with Trump at 3 p.m. today. He accused Trump of informing his friends before the markets opened. The shares went up and the bond market took a hit. Probably. I mean, uh, Trump has got access to the exchange uh, stabilization fund now, so you never know. Uh, but can we prove it? No. John McEwen, thanks to you and at Mike Maloney, I've started to convert my fiat money into gold and silver. Thanks to both of you for your education. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, and I'd like to thank everyone as well uh, who, who have been donating to my channel through uh, Patreon or PayPal, even bit. I received some Bitcoin the other day and also through the Super Chat. I'd like to thank everyone. Uh, Gold Rush on Discovery Channel. I missed that show. Yeah, I really like that show, Gold Rush. It just goes to show how, how hard it is to get the stuff. And then you realize how much of a fraud the fiat money is. Um, you know, that's printed out of thin air or keyed in on a key, <laughs> keyed in on a keyboard. <laughs> uh, Visa cards falling today. Is it a test run? It could be. It could be a test run because it not only happened in the UK, it happened uh, in Europe as well, in the continent. Luis Cuevas, how can I buy EOS tokens? Where are you, Luis? If, if you're in the U.S., Unfortunately, you need to do it through an exchange. Uh, and if you're not, you, you still got time. You still got, uh, let's see, just under four hours to uh, contribute to the last, um, it's the last uh, period of sale, crowd sale. And after that, you've got till tomorrow at 10 p.m. London to register. Uh, and you need to claim your tokens as well after the period is finished today. Uh, or you could just wait until after the main net. Uh, you can, you know, people are going to be able to buy uh, EOS tokens uh, when it goes main net. It's going to trade in the exchanges as well. You don't have to do it now. Uh, of course, the price might go up, but it might go down as well. Who knows? Um, will Canada join USA? Well, yeah, I mean, the North American Union, I'm not sure uh, with Trump if that's going to happen now. Yeah, Trump tweeted today's job numbers. Yeah, that's that's really bad form. Um, you don't you I've never heard of a president doing that before. Silver country, will the cashless society be, be global and in every country? It looks that way, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, you, if you look back uh, 100 years or 120 years ago, it's not looking good. You know, we used to have coins, uh, and then we had started having the banknotes, and then after World War I, uh, a lot of countries in Europe started stopped the gold, uh, and then the... And then they stopped the silver in the 60s. The U.S. stopped the gold in the 1930s. So it's been a gradual, uh, you know, 
process. And yeah, I, I, it could be the next thing, you know, electronic cashless society. It's not good. I, I think the only way to protect against that is to have physical gold and silver. Uh, of course, you're going to have to keep uh, some cash, you know, cashless money with the bank, uh, unfortunately. Mark Walsh, EOS will probably pull back its overhyped vaporware ATM, in my opinion. But time will tell. Yeah, I, I mean, everyone has their opinion. That's why there's a market, uh, Mark. I don't think it's overhyped. Uh, as well, T. Ham is that Todd or Tom Hamilton? Um, I think uh, there's a lot of naysayers. I think uh, people. I think it's going to surprise people, to be honest. Clown with Twitter account. Goat has already reached the top 1,700. Supply is high. Even China and South produce more. The production has to go down. More money companies to go out of business. So the price can go up. Well, I think uh, I'm not sure about that top 1700. Uh, is that in doll? Uh, what currency you're talking about? Because the top was 1900. Uh, the supply of gold is shrinking actually, and uh, the mining industry has been completely uh, eviscerated. So there's very little. Uh, yeah, I mean, and if uh, and at these prices, gold is still. Uh, you know, very companies are almost making no profit. If it drops to like 1200, 1150, they won't make a profit, they'll go out of business. And it takes a long time to uh, explore uh, the ground and then to find the gold. And it takes seven to 10 years. So, uh, the other thing about gold, uh, the supply and demand is different uh, than a normal commodity because. Uh, all the gold that's ever been mined uh, in history is still existent. So a change in su uh, supply uh, of gold or uh, does not affect the price that much. What affects the price is fear uh, of uh, financial calamity, uh, collapse. That's what affects the price of gold is fear. Uh, so you have to think of fear. When people are fearful of things, gold will go up. It doesn't matter uh, you know, about the supply. Should I think of it as I'm an echo? Do you think that Bitcoin chart analysis in, indicated a long term slow devaluation or will jump back? You mean a drop, I guess, by devaluation? Um, well, uh, some people think, you know, it could be uh, uh, that we've had a double bottom, we could be going up. I don't know. Um, I think. Uh, yeah, the consolidation is, might last a little longer since the top we saw in December, January. Um, but uh, I think we're going to go higher in Bitcoin and other cryptos later on in the year. Don't know the level, though. Lorraine, Lor Lorraine Weymouth. Not just Visa, some online banking not working, and lots of people that had uh, wage due today. Weird, as my Visa worked in cash point, I got all I could out just in case. Yeah, I used my card today uh, after, around lunchtime and just afterwards, and it worked okay. So we got 157 people. Not bad. I didn't uh, warn people of this live stream. I just saw that story and I thought it would be uh, interesting to do it. Um, yeah, may, you know, the other thing about this, we need to see what happens in the next few days with this uh, cash problem. They had it in Europe as well in the continent. Maybe uh, keep an eye out for if we have problems in the US as well. Frank Rem, it, it is said Russia buys gold as alternative to fiat currency, but is it more correct to say that the Central Bank of Russia buys gold and that the Central Bank is actually foreign owned and independent of government? I'm not too sure about the uh, 
ownership of the Russian Central Bank. I think uh, I don't think it's privately owned. Uh, Putin uh, spoke recently at the opening of Parliament that uh, having diversified uh, foreign holdings like gold is a way uh, to in enhance the sovereignty of Russia because by holding uh, paper money, dollars, uh, you know, with all the sanctions that the U.S. has been putting on countries, it's very uh, it's dangerous. You, you kind of lose, it's like you leaving all your money in the bank. Uh, same thing, Russia. They don't want to leave all their money with the Fed in New York. So that's why they're buying gold, in my opinion. Shy Thinker videos. What are your thoughts on the retaliations imposed by other countries after the U.S. announced new import taxes? Well, it's tit for tat. You know, if you're gonna, that's, that's all it is. Um, I think America has, you know, they have the gold, but it's been uh, legally uh, leased and hypothecated many times over. So if they had to, like, go back on a gold system, they'd have to buy back all the leases, and that would drive the price up. So. Havoc's Horst, 120. Is the U.S. economic data rigged to like it, make it look much better than it really is? Of course it is, uh, Havoc, Havoc's Horst. Yeah, I, I recommend everyone go to uh, uh, shadowstats.com. And uh, John Williams talks about how they've uh, manipulated the data. One of the things they do is uh, called hedonics. So they will say uh, that, uh, let's say, a, a normal family car that was worth, let's say, $15,000 10 years ago and now is worth $20,000. They, they'll say that the price didn't go up because uh, there are improvements in the car. So that's what they do. The other thing they do is substitution. So if you uh, used to eat fillet steak 10 years ago and it was $20, but it's now $50, uh, they'll replace the fillet steak with spam, <laughs> which is $10. So they'll even drop the price. There's all kinds of things they do. Uh, and, they, and then they use the, the inflation numbers to, dis to discount uh, the, re you know, the nominal GDP uh, much higher. Because if, let's say, if the nominal GDP goes up by 5%, they will use a 2% inflation and say real GDP was 3 But if they're lying about the inflation, the inflation is really 5%, uh, if you take 5 minus 5, you really get zero GDP. So yeah, the, the statistics in the U.S. are all fake, uh, but not only in the U.S., in the whole of Western Europe and any other country in the world, I would say, that has big governments. Cly clown. <laughs> Let's see. The problem is that a lot of gold was sold in the black market. Morocco was selling five tons of gold to UAE and covering with bronze. Shy thinker. Uh, Heyman Echo, you know the uh, Phillips curve. How can the United States keep uh, so low inflation with the level of employment? Uh, because they're lying about both of the uh, <laughs> inflation and, and employment. Uh, if you read today's statistics, yeah, the unemployment rate seems really low, but they don't count the 96 million people that are out of the workforce. So if you add those, because they say they're not looking for work, they're, you know, they haven't claimed for unemployment, so they're not counted. So yeah, the Phillips curve is, is uh, how can I say, useless. Domingo, hey, Manak, what, what does worst case scenario look like for regular folk? Uh, actually, for regular people, uh, I don't think things are 
will be as bad because they're not great already. I think the people that will suffer are the people uh, who who are you know have borrowed a lot, who live beyond their means. Those are the people. But regular folk, you know, if you're like honest and you live within your means, things might get worse. But you're not going to really suffer much. Uh, as much as people who are uh, have no clue that this is happening, you know, and, and they're living as if nothing, you know, can go wrong. Yeah, uh, Rod, I I agree with you. You know, if you look at ninety five million people out of work, you know, population. I know the uh, population is three hundred and thirty. Uh, uh, that's almost like. Uh, 30% and it's even more because they're working, you know, if you just you take out uh, children and people that are retired, it's more like 40%, I would say, almost 30 to 40% unemployment. Uh, Bobby Blake, uh, Lynette Zank thinks confiscation confiscation of the public's gold should take place in the could take place in the US during a crisis so she recommends collectible gold do you agree uh i don't think it's bad to have some collectible gold the reason why collectible gold is uh actually not liable for confiscation is because in 1933 the secretary of the treasurer treasury was a really big uh, coin collector and so they put that clause in so you see the you know the elite always get away with things no i i don't think they will because the public isn't into gold as much as they used to be in the 30s uh in the 30s gold was money so that's what people saved then nowadays uh not so i know people we are into gold and other people the gold bugs and like some people but that wouldn't make much difference. They're already doing the confiscation of the gold as it is right now by manipulating the price. So I don't agree with uh, Lynette Zhang on that one. Yeah, S. Walker technocrats been put in to run Italy. Yeah, I don't understand why the Italians take that. It's not the first time that's happened. Um, how does the financial market back up their digital uh, money balances? Does the 9-11 attack erase some of the trading records permanently? Uh, I mean, I think there's so much that goes on that people don't know, you know, that's under the table. Uh, you know, that's why the Fed won't allow an audit of its books. Yeah, I, I heard about 9-11, about all the gold that disappeared from the World Trade Center. The COMEX uh, exchange was in the World Trade Center at the time where they traded gold. So it's where they kept the gold. Licks 59, American citizens own more, more guns than gold. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Ham T. Hamilton, why doesn't the richest entity on the planet, the Vatican, bail out the EU? Uh, they probably have to some extent. Uh, and uh, it's interesting to note that Mario Draghi, president of the ECB, went to a Jesuit school. Uh, in Rome, and who's the Pope? The Pope now is a Jesuit, and I've made a video as well about how the Vatican uh, Bank uh, lent uh, let the New York Fed use their gold back in 1977 to uh, you know manipulate the gold market. Uh, if you uh, you know search in my YouTube channel, Vatican Gold Federal Reserve, you find the the video. Yeah, Lorraine, I agree. 9-11, biggest gold heist in history. Very true. Uh, also, uh, World War II, 
the Germans uh, got quite a bit of gold from all the countries they invaded uh, as well. So that was a big gold gold heist. And guess where the gold from World War II went? It went to the Bank for International Settlements. Uh, it's interesting that uh, the central bankers were uh, working together at the Bank for International Settlements during World War II. The allied central bankers or bankers, uh, I think they had a JP Morgan representative at the BIS. They were doing business with the German central bank. So it, it just goes to show that all these wars are phony wars. So uh, there you go. So I think I'm going to stop now. Uh, I think we've spoken enough. Uh, like to thank everybody uh, for showing up. I know I didn't warn about this one, but I just thought it would be interesting to talk about the cashless uh, society and the problems going on. I think we need to keep an eye out for uh, what's going on to see if it happens in the U.S. Then we could maybe think that, uh, you know, there's something going on that this could have been a test. Uh, so one, uh, two or three more questions. Uh, Mr. 64, how safe, uh, how safe are safety deposit box and banks for precious metals? Uh, no safety. <laughs> you know, if you might as well just leave your money in the bank uh, if you're going to put your your safety deposit bank uh, box in a bank. That's how I feel about it. Uh, oh, you're welcome, everyone, and thanks for showing up. And uh, I'll probably be making another video tomorrow and maybe have another uh, a chat, uh, a live stream, sorry, uh, during the weekend. Oh, thanks, Marek uh, Sochanek, for the uh, donation. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you, everyone. And uh, have a good weekend. And uh, take care. So I'm just, what happened here? I'm trying to... Trying to stop it here. So we'll just keep going on here a little bit. I don't know what's happened here, where the uh, off button is. <laughs> anyway, so take care, everyone.